I'm gonna kill that sucker. I said, oh, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't intro, I don't, I'm not trying to go here and squeeze me. Like, I'm trying to go and secure it with that high hook. This one will need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I step over with this one, right, it's under his knees, I had just, I had just been pulling his knee. So I'm gonna assume that this one's up there and bent for me. I want my Achilles right here, right? So as I start to go through this guillotine, and he's pulling that leg away. Remember, he's naturally gonna be pulling that away because I'm cradling him. Let's go back to the cradle. Time, time. Go back to the cradle. Can't hear you what? Let me go back to the cradle. Oh, so like he's got the tension now. Tension, tension, trying to open up, trying to open up. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's like a spring. It's a spring. Don't just throw his leg and do it. Wait for him to go, oh, I'm trying to get out of here. He should be trying to get out of there. Okay, when he does that, just let the leg go and hear the ropes step in the mount. Even when you do mounting from here, all right, you got this fancy stuff that you can use one out of 100,000 times. It's not really necessary. <laughs> you can just go kill the ropes, right? And start transferring. That kind of stuff, right? Yeah. So it's just a term I learned from Dracovino. He's a uh, Gracie Barro black belt. Well, we're not. Uh, he uses that term a lot, so there's no other term for it. So I, yeah. That's important you step over. It's important you step over like that. In multiple areas of the game. Am I going to try? Like, if you had an underhook, I wouldn't want to step over like this. Right? I'd want to back and capture his elbow. You know what I'm saying? So now I got his elbow. If I do itsy bitsy spider, I'm not going to catch his arm. He's going to suck his arm back. So it's about catching his neck, catching the mount, catching his arm. So I'm going to use that a lot of times when I'm facing his legs. I'll step and Look, step, ankles will turn and cross, look. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. All right? This is not a cool guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> this is not either. Okay. On your hand, nothing less. Okay. Okay, because then you start to take away from your elevation. You know, and then you could possibly get rolled over. Extended arm, locked out. Not like this, not on your elbow, okay? The other reason, I gotta connect my hands with the guillotine. Okay. The other reason that I wanna have this elbow turned is because you'll notice my elbow's high, my hand's like down here on the center of his chest. When I'm like, turn, buddy. I can see I'm here like this, right? But when I turn, I drop that elbow in like that, mm. which makes my hand go up by his shoulder. Look, oh, I'm going out by his shoulder. So when I come into the mount, and I have that position over here, it's harder. But when I walk over here like this, then I can connect my hand, even if I post on my head and put my elbow over his shoulder. Sorry, you okay? And I post on that elbow. I don't want to post on my left, because I can pull my left back now by posting on this elbow. <coughs> Otherwise, you're always trying to do it with your lower lumbar and your back, and you're off balance, and both of your arms are like trying to lift off the mat instead of just posting on one and choking with the other. All right, so again, we got to this position. He's strung apart, boom. Step like this. I felt like he wasn't choking or needed more. I post, lift my hips, my knees went tight, lift my hips, grabbing my palm. No thumb needed. Grabbing the choking hand, just like you would do from guard. And here, it's not working. I can post, grab my back of my hand, and post over his shoulder. So I post like that. And now I can choke him. It's important that you get the elbow over the shoulder. If I guillotine him like this, pull my elbow down, bro. Yeah, see, he can get inside now. You guys see that? That'll never happen over here. He'll never pull that elbow through his shoulder. It's the same exact principle when he's in turtle. I have a guillotine here. I wouldn't want to have my hand down here and grab my arm. I'd rather have my elbow over his shoulder so that he can't get up and grab it. Exact same thing from the mount. If we're in space, it's the same thing. Mount is only guard, guard is only mount because the mat and we got gravity. It's the same position more like this, right? Don't let me get too trippy on there. Yes. Yeah. You know? Fix that guillotine, step over. What's it called? Kill the rope. Oh, kill the rope. I just want to squish him. We're killing him.